Hello everyone, my name is Lancel90 and welcome back to Let's Play Pillars of Eternity. So, I took a look over this character and he is a fighter. <laughs> so, he wasted like 500 gold. Also, he's one level above her. Like, I thought she was going to level up because someone else I watched play, was, as soon as they hired a level 2 person, they are already leveled up to level 3. Are they ready to level up to level 3? I'm not exactly sure why that didn't happen to us, but since there's a fighter here, we should, uh, you know, be loot. There is one drawback, and that's that we have to go through everything again. Um, not the quick save, of course. We'll have to load the last save here. We're going to have to go through a lot of dialogue again, but we don't have to read it all. We can just skip through it. Anything I needed to do with just these two characters? I shall. Don't think so. Okay, we have quite a few dialogue things to go through, don't we? You must gather your. Okay. Good day to you. Just making sure I'm hitting the right buttons here at least. I didn't realize this fighter was in town, because the other guy I watched play didn't gab him. I didn't rest yet. I didn't realize that. But we did that before, after the save, but. Hello. so frustrating. I knew that might happen. Uh, I just thought... I thought the other guy grabbed all the, uh... all the alloys you can get at this point. I guess he didn't, though. Have... No. Seventeen and a half. The dwarf woman. You were trying to think of the people hanging. Name's Adair. Or... I was smoking over here, saw you staring at her. Twice I refilled my. Careful, friend. Of course, seeing you with that funny look, I'd be halfway inclined to believe you were having. The town's had it in for me for a long time. We blew him up. Blew him up. <laughs> Pick the wrong guy. Then one after the seems as seem to remember a man such as that. Not sure. All right then. Seventeen and a half. Here we go. Oops. Okay, 
what we need to do. We need to get you your gear. You have Saint's War Armor. Damage, extra damage reduction. Piercing damage. Second chance, grant second chance. I don't know what that means. Let's see. It's a damage bonus with savers, I know. I read it. That one's actually full size. Interesting. We don't need that. Oh, you have a cloak too. The reason that hat looks goofy. This is that one to a degree. If I make this blue, will it? Yeah, it will. There we go. Okay, where do we go next? Let's give this guy more information. I have received confirmation that Lord Radric's heir was not born well. My lord has issued an injunction on all new homesteads until he can be assured that the village has been cleansed of all Aeothasians and whatever other undesirables that have brought this curse upon his lands. It would be best if you left town as soon as possible. I would suggest returning to your old home. There will be no place for you here. You may stay at the inn until you can make the necessary arrangements, but I would not advise remaining long. I expect Lord Radric will be most thorough in his efforts to purify this place. Tell me about Lord Radric. Comes from a line of nobles who have defended these lands since the Adir times. Radric II was an early supporter of the Deironian independence during the revolution, and the current lord's father perished in the Saints' War. Hollowborn began appearing in Deerwood right after the war's end. Lord Radric has taken it upon himself to purge the curse from the Guild of Vale. His measures have been severe but necessary. Fortunately, it doesn't have doesn't appear to have been enough to protect his heir. Saints' War. I think we read this by talking to the other guy, so I'm gonna skip through that. Until your village is most settlements on the Deerwood, Guild of Vale hasn't grown much since its establishment in the colonial days. The last 15 years have seen our population shrink further. It takes into ramshackled houses and half fallen fences, and so recruitment of fresh settlers. They lost snorts indeed. Has Gilded Vale's population been shrinking? Wayden's legacy, of course. Many women have had difficulty be bearing healthy children of late. A few years ago, Lord Leodric rec decreed that no mothers of Hollowborn are allowed to be in the Gilded Vale. He his mouth tightens into a firm line. His lordship dealt swiftly with any objectors. It may be harsh, but if it purges us of this curse, is it not worth it? I mean about those ruins behind the tree. It's what's left of the Temple of Eothus. His lips puckered. Lord Leodric forbade worship of the dead god after the saints war. It's been abandoned for almost 15 years, but there are plans to re rededicate it to Beroth, the god of life and death. Abandoned because some nice lord decided to put, da put it down because he was scared of its god even after it died. Beroth's a good choice though, I like it. Beroth believes in cycles. I like to think that we happen happens. what happened to the temple will be repaid someday too. Enough about the Guild of Vale. Okay, what else we have to go on this map? There's no like buildings up here that I can go to, but I can walk around them and see if they have anything in them. We're looting. Old rock chew. Ways out. So 
this one's oh he leveled up oh of course we did i just don't know do it this time That leveled hey. him up to three, like before we grabbed him. And grab him in the same order as I did before. Okay, he's level three, fine. <clears throat> Shh. I? I shot. I'm here. I shall. I don't know which one of us has the highest, uh... Still, it's probably me. Oh, that guy has some too. Don't mind me, I'm just... Chilling out by this table over here. No big deal. Yes, I shall. Go hang out with that other person again. Yes? Alright, right, now shall. I can talk to you. Again, I don't have time for that. I'm here. Nice and quiet. So I'm to see if there's secrets. All right, keep moving. I shall. <laughs> I'm sure these are really interesting, but. I'm already reading more than I ever have, just narrating what I am narrating. Again, you can always pause the video to read it if you have to. appear to have been in a deep conversation. Working at closing two bulging satchels, they move a little to embrace until the woman notices your approach and pauses her, smi her smile, faltering a little. Hello! Can we help you? She looks to your companion, brows furrowing with confusion. You know, do you know this man, Nutton? Nutton Koss. Uh, yes, uh, we met in the Veilwood. I warned him about the bear. Inclines his head. Glad to see you made it. There was was there something else you wanted? She seemed to be in a hurry. To her in good spirits, or people just lost a friend. Anything you can tell me, I've got Gilded Bale. Seemed to be a hurry. Yes, I imagine so. We're packing for a trip, actually. I've been meaning to visit Defiance Bay, and well, in truth, I think I've had my fill of this town. Not reaches to take her hand. It's time for some new scenery, he says. Anything you can tell me about the Gilded Vale? Smiles wryly. Only that you'll want to be moving on as soon as you can. You'll have seen the tree, I imagine, but the rock goes deeper. If you're looking for work, I'd say you have a better chance of it elsewhere. Ready right for defiance by ourselves, not names. So they're acting strangely. Good day, stranger. 
They both had female voices. I think one of them's a dude, though. Let's keep quiet. Hidden stuff. Nothing. We probably have to go kill that bear before we can address them about anything else. I don't know if we're ready to kill the bear. We might be. Quick save, because I haven't saved in a little while. No, there's more grain in there, Trumbull. We don't sell for scraps when you grow fat on our crops. Muffled shouting emerges from inside the mill. First you drunkards comes through that door, gets shot between the eyes. God, hear me swinging her. I'll put you down like a dog. Come away for now, lads, but we'll be back, Trumbull. Oh, we'll be back, Trumbull, and we'll have fair prices, or by the flame we'll have reckoning. Against the grain. I'm here, of course. Before we go in, let's see what's around the building. man stands before you is relatively stocky built, suggesting a life of labor. His face is pale and drawn, his eyes wide. Behind him, a younger man and woman exchange worried glances. Milo raises a club at you as you enter and shakes it violently in his grip. Get back if you value your life. Hold on, I'm not here to put anyone. Resolve 14, put that down before you get yourself hurt. One kind of makes more sense. That's something I'd say, but I kind of like that this one uses one of my stats to use. It only leaves us a club a little bit higher. I mean, it won't have Swainer and his lackeys threaten me in my own mill. Who's Swainer? My name is Irosworn. I only just arrived in the Gale, in the Gilded Vale. Thought you could use some help. Those people out there seem pretty angry. I don't like being threatened. It's a bad time to come visiting. Builder Vale's had all of its shine scraped off. Just a big dung heap now. And Swainer thinks he's king of it. They're all mad. All, all, bleh. they're all mad. Ah, whatever. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't read that right. What was all that ruckus outside? Where to begin? Swainer's whipped most of them up into a froth going on about the grain stores. Claims I've hidden away most of it. All I do with the grain is sell it. I can't create it out of thin air and I can't hand it out for free. I pay the farmers for the crops they bring in, and I sell what comes out of the mill. Most of it goes to the Black Hound on the west side of town for ale. And Swainer and his lot sure don't mind that part. Take a look at the fields on the way to town. The crops crops blighted, and most of what most of what I'm getting from the farmers. And most of what I'm getting from the farmers, it's gone off. Right. Okay, never mind. I'm having a little bit of trouble reading right now. I can't pay top prices for blighted wheat, and I barely got enough good grain to go around. And Swainer's howling after things he has no right to. You don't want these people in here with torches. Maybe you ought to stop lying to me. <laughs> Maybe I ought to have a talk with Swainer then. It seems a pretty clean story for a messy situation. Rumble blinks, taken aback. I'm not. Look, it's no lie. The stores are really low, and with so little grain going around, I had to raise the prices for some people. Folks in this town deserve far better than what Swainer and his lot. People have done more for Gilded Vale. At an intellect of 12, I could do something else. And I have a talk with Swainer then. Swainer's people are farmers. They gather that grain for you. What do you mean? They sure didn't mind losing that grain when I was going to the drinks at the inn. Don't make, like, uh, kind neighbors when they insult my son go stumbling drunk through my own crops. You think they're the only ones that need to eat? Now the crops are sick, the wind's too weak to get the windmill turning. Our village is children's, are born as empty shells. That's not my doing, this place is cursed, and Swainer and the others haven't done a thing. Help the rest of us through this lean season. What do you mean? Swainer and the rest, they've always been troublemakers, loud, drunken fools that... That woman with him, 
for Soul Traces back to Drahidon, which wretched brigand and it shows. We have good people in this town, people hanging on to what's left of it. They deserve a little more, that's all I'm saying. Is your self righteousness worth losing your family over? Rumble opens his mouth to protest, but his expression shifts into resignation. Well, before he finally nods his beaks, you're right. I've been trying to plan for the future, but we're in danger here and now. Fine. Bell Swainer and the others I've reconsidered. Provided he pays the same as everyone else, he's welcome to his fair share. Let's hope we can trade for supplies real soon, or I'll all be in a bad way. It'll be a minor positive. I wonder if that's the best way I could have handled that. I'm not really sure. Hey. Yes? I shall. Nice and quiet. I might put away the black hounds. It's kind of... It's actually a little bit distracting. Indeed. I don't know if that was the best way I could resolve that. What else we have around here? House. Oh, there's a plant back here. Don't see anything else, so let's go to that uh, blacksmith's shop. Uh, where was it exactly? Maybe there's some good gear in here. Stealing, stealing, stealing. This one isn't stealing. It's a book. This Emua Main is an oppressive build, towering over the countertop. His skin is dusky blue of the deeper oceans, and his thick arms boast corded muscles. Small ears. Frame a square jawed face coated and smeared in soot, marking black tick twos alike. He offers you a broad smile as you approach. Welcome, you're the first new face I've seen in quite some time. What can I do for you? Is this your shop? That it is. Been near 20 years now. Seen all manner of things over the years. Good luck and bad. To Natu. Glances at the guard standing the watch along the wall, but the black hammer smithy remains. What do you have? 
Twist those streets, I'm afraid the stock's not what it used to be, but we've fine weapons and armor to offer yet. I'll forge right here at the Black Hammer. What happened? We just don't have supplies. Been expecting the next delivery for near on a week now, and we just haven't seen sign of it. Have to expect they were hit by bandits, the road out east is crawling with them, or my workers ran off with the wagons themselves, maybe to make some coin. As if that lot would dare. He's right about the bandits, star situations in villages like this, and exodus to the cities that's created far too many opportunities for unscrupulous sorts. Tantu scratches his jaw thinking. If you happen to be headed by that way, you can keep out for a supply wagon, or my shipment at least. They'd be cutting through black metal, I expect. Only good road for it. As it is, most of our weapons go to his grace, Lord Riedrich. To add two glances at the nearby guard, and that's as it should be, but he shouldn't. It doesn't leave much for outsiders, we just don't have the iron. I'll find your supplies, I'll see them back safe and sound. It's a wagon traveling from. Come back safe and sound. Appreciate your trying, anyhow. You bring back the supplies at least, and you'll have much more to offer you a discount to start. And if you find my workers, uh, you give them a good smack offside the head for me. Hail and well met. Let's see what he has for now. Don't think I could ever afford any of those items. Not sure I'm how important it is I hold on to any of these books, but I'm doing it for some reason. Wow, magic items are pretty expensive, huh? Galactic Hood. We actually need this. Or that uh, one wall that we found in that last zone. Might as well get this pry uh, bar as well. Summon something. This is all stuff I want to hold on to. Here an ale isn't worth anything. I'm gonna move it to my stash, I think. Oops. A lot of consumables. Let's sell the books, I guess. I don't know why I might need them. A torch with me. I'll sell a couple other torches. Those all kind of looks goofy. I'll keep one of each of these. Keep all that just in case. That did balance out the cost a little bit. Of course, if I find his friends, I can get a discount, but eh, I'm not going to worry about that too much. Also, I forgot to give this guy. Oh, he has had a weapon. He has a war bow, though. I think I would rather him just to have a crossbow thematically. Unless he gets a bonus to using a bow, I don't think he does, though. Because he has the weapon focused ruffian. Yeah, he'd rather have guns than anything, but I don't have any. Welcome! Laying low. Hmm? Indeed. 
Hi? I shot. Uh, see, but it's like we actually have a chance to loot this one. I didn't even read what that was. Ayo, rice, extra hammer and chisel. I'll need two so I can sell one. I shall. Greetings. I will sell you your own hammer and chisel. And I need to move these down here just so I can move them to the stash. I'm here. Shh. I shall. I'm here. Indeed. I? I shall. I don't know if we'll ever get an opportunity on this other one here. Hmm? Indeed. Huh? Of course. I don't think there's any way. Oh, well, he's looking that way, I guess. It might be the problem. Gonna try. We're out of time for this video. I will try to do it off camera as long as I can, but might not be able to loot these, so until next time, I hope you all have a good day.